All right, Prime, you got a battle at the AHAT convention on October 18th and 19th at the D Casino. First time AHAT's been in a casino. The first ever rap battle convention. Um, let us know who you're battling and, and what's going to happen and why that battle is even taking place. Uh, man, I'm, I'm excited. First, I'm, I'm excited to be at the casino for the first time. I was there when OD and they ever set everything up. Shit was amazing. Got to see, you know, how, how the whole entire structure works. OD actually just took me under his wing and is just showing me the way of the, uh, you know, the battle, the, the way the battle scene goes. But uh, he actually let me set up a lot of the card. So CB, uh, he's been one of our top guys in California for a while, but we booked him the last three times and he hasn't been here. So it was just kind of like, do I book him a one of these East Coast cats that comes out or do I step in there and uh, take the battle myself? So just in case he doesn't show, you know, we don't really lose anything from flying out from the East Coast. But uh, not taking anything away from CB. I mean, he did put a lot of work in for us the last couple years. And uh, so I'm not going to sleep on it any like one bit like the prime you guys are about to see is not the prime that battled in Utah like actually being around this much battle rap actually felt like I awoke like it awoke in a sleeping giant it got the riding bug I'm back to riding again and uh, you guys are gonna be pleasantly surprised when it goes down okay um what do you think is good about CB like what does he do good he is he you know what I gotta give it to him because I've been preaching this you know since I've been you know behind the scenes at a hat is he's one of the only he was one of the only guys that would turn up when he's rapping and the crowd feeds off of his energy from what he's it's not really what he's saying but it's the way he says it and the crowd just feeds into it and that's what gets his reaction but uh I've learned from that, like, I actually look at this battle rap shit like a science. Like, I watch every, everybody's mannerisms. I watch, you know, what works, what doesn't work, different training regiments to try and get shit together. And uh, I watched what he did, and I was like, I just started incorporating it, you know, into battle rap. Because, uh, as you can see with a lot of the MCs, now they're starting to bring more energy to the battles, and we're coming up with better battles. So, uh, that's what he, he does that great. And he is a really good freestyler. Like, uh, he freestyles very well. So, you know, rebuttal. Uh, but then again, that freestyle can't hurt him if somebody brought structured bars, you know, that could give him the, uh, could put him in a bag pretty easy. But uh, if he, as long as he, I see it, I see like he'll write like his first two rounds and then he'll like freestyle his third, which is, isn't going to work this time. It's not going to work this time. By my rules, the third round should be your hardest round because that's what they're going to remember. So hopefully he brings all three bars, all three verses written because if not, then he's not going to make it out. Now, he already told us that he's going to run through the entire SPT team. So that's me, Danny Myers, Skeen, Jones, whoever he has to go through. But I'm just going to put a roadblock on that real quick. All right, for sure. Since you was, uh, like, pretty much the one setting up all these battles and all that stuff, how, how difficult is it or easy is it? Like, tell them <laughs> just some of the drama. Like. Coming, in, coming in as a fan, I'm like, man, why doesn't OD do this? Why doesn't OD do that? If I was him, I would do this. If I was him, I would do that. But after him showing me how it works and letting me run a lot of it, it's, it's not that easy. Man, it is not easy at all. You got to deal with egos. You got to deal with, uh, you know, people out of state. You got to make sure booking's all done. You got to make sure you have everything together legitly. Otherwise, stuff just falls apart. Like, so much respect to OD for doing it for five years. Like, it's it's not, it's no easy task. So when I look at the comments, because I watch the comments on every battle that we drop, and it's like, oh, why don't you set up this battle, this battle, this would be good. And I'm like, oh, that'll never happen. He's not going to do that. He's not going to do right, that. Right. Even though it, it does, the battle does make sense. But uh, being that uh, you know that he got to the team behind him now, he got me, R&B, Menace. You know, we're actually trying to get these MCs together. We're building it up. We're almost to the 100,000K mark, which is that's. I mean, I'm, I think I'm gonna throw like a birthday party or so, anniversary party as soon as we hit that 100, 100K mark, because that's a huge mark. Yeah, I mean, it is. Not it too is. many, not too many leagues get there. I mean, there's probably like maybe three that are at that 100K wow. mark. So it's uh, it's gonna be great once AHAC gets up to that point, and then. Seeing as it's been constantly growing since uh, the new batch of MCs has been coming in, uh, I think when I first got here, we were probably like around 60, and I just see OD grinding it out, grinding it out, and that 60 jumped up to 100K in like less than a year. So it's, 
you know, it, I see battle rap growing a lot, a lot more people are doing it. If you look at the URL, they were on, you know, BET, so we're starting to get bigger sponsors coming, and by Danny stepping in as the new Vegas president, allows OD to go get us some of that sponsorship money, so that way we can get these bigger battles going, which I think wow. will make this league grow even faster, you know? Wow. So, no but doubt. it's a saturated market right now, but uh, I think A-Hat has a foothold towards the top of that and the ability to climb even higher. So we should be at the top of the front runners once all these sponsor money can start coming in. No doubt, no doubt. All right, let them know where they can contact you at. Uh, you can catch me at uh, Prime the Ripper on Twitter, at Prime the Ripper. The threes are E, the E's are threes. Uh, at the Art of War, T-H-A, Art of War, at Super Blog Team, <laughs> at Next Rap Battles. I'm actually doing the uh, Next Rap Battle League, too. Uh, and, man, I'm fucking everywhere. <laughs> so I'm on Instagram, Path, Twitter, Vine. <laughs> I'm on, if there's, a, if there's a social network, I'm on it because I'm pushing these, uh, I'm doing all the social media, mar uh, the social marketing, too. So I'm being, I'm in, like, every group. So you should see me everywhere. So Okay, that's what it is. Any last shout out? Uh, shout out SBT, shout out uh, my cats back home in San Bernardino, you know, they watch all the battles, they, every time we go there they're quoting bars, you know, so shout out back home, shout out to Vegas who's, uh, who's bringing me up and putting me on the game, so it's, uh, I, don't, I don't forget where I came from, so, you know, it's going to be a good run, we're going to be up there at the top and I can't, I can't wait till this thing just blows up the way it should blow up with the leadership that it has in front of it.